Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you for staying with us. Now, in his latest exhibition, artist Clive van der Berg has assumed the responsibility to capture brutalities that members of the LGBTI uh, community and Islamic State endure on a daily basis. The experiences are portrayed in this new display that is currently on show at the Goodman Gallery in Johannesburg called A Pile of Stones. To tell us more about this exhibition, we're joined in studio by the man uh, who's behind this striking art pieces. Clive joins me now. Clive, good morning. Thank you very much for joining me. Good morning. It's quite interesting, b before we even talk about the actual exhibition, it's quite interesting that you would tackle something that, with all due respect, we don't actually talk about. Yeah. Well, I think that's the tragedy of it. We don't know about these killings. We mm. know about some of the other ISIS yeah. atrocities and murders, but we don't know about the killings of gay men in Syria and Iraq. And that's, that's telling itself why we don't know about these things. So my, my aim was but really to memorialize these But people. also the media doesn't cover it. We the don't talk about it in our circles. Yeah, the mainstream media has pretty much ignored it. Yeah. Uh, not entirely, but pretty much. Uh, the publicity for this is actually put out by ISIS themselves as recruiting bait uh, and as a, a kind of warning to other gay people in those areas. Uh, the fact that you've called it a pile of stones, yeah. talk to me about that, the significance so. of calling it that. Okay, so what happens is they take these people up to high buildings, they blindfold them and they bind them and they throw them off these buildings. On the ground there are piles of stones for people to then stone the bodies, so Shoot. that is the significance of the title. And when the tragedy is that yeah. there, I mean, there's generally men at the bottom, but there are also boys, these young children, and they are being schooled into a certain kind of behavior which is brutal and bigoted. What is the story that you wanted to tell or what was the experience you, you wanted to create for somebody who would come to the exhibition? Okay, so the immediate story is that I wanted to give some kind of memorial to these people who are unnamed and unnameable. Their families can't claim their bodies and the families are guilty by association. So yeah. the usual kind of ways which, in which we remember people through obituaries or remembering them through uh, celebrations of some kind. These things are all denied to, to these men. So I'm trying to make provisional memorials to them specifically. But the broader issue is that I think homophobic violence is on the rise around the world. Yeah. Russia is the most obvious example of that. There's a new president in America whose who's vice president is deeply homophobic, avowedly homophobic. Mm. So we mustn't be complacent. We have a fantastic constitution in this country, fantastic protections for Mm. gay people in this country but that doesn't mean that the behavior of people on the ground is necessarily aligned to the constitution so I'm hoping to through art to create a kind of yeah. sympathetic gaze basically talk to me about your own emotions when you I mean yeah. because I think it's it's one thing to have this idea yeah. and then to do the research and then yeah. find and, and put this compelling um, almost underlining narrative together W were you also, were you struck by your own emotions going yeah. through this? Yeah. You know, the most difficult thing, and these are appalling images. You know, mm. you're seeing images of people in midair. You're seeing people being forced over the parapets of buildings, and then you're seeing their bodies on the ground. So they're very, very difficult to look at. These, mm. are, our, these are our brothers, you know, mm. if you're a gay person. Well, any person. These are part of our human family. So they were very difficult to look at, but the challenge I think for, for me as an artist, and I think the challenge for viewers is, what do you do with those emotions? Mm. You want to make good, you want to redeem those lives. Of course we can't, those lives are lost, mm. but what do you do with that motivation? And I think art gives us some kind of way to reflect on, on what's happened to these people and to think about our own behavior in the future. Do you think that that aim of wanting art to reflect um, kind of just what's happening in, 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 in our society and getting us to, to, to have a conversation and maybe do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you kind of met those targets with this exhibition? Uh, the feedback that you've gotten from people? Have they been shocked? Have they been, have they yeah. been able to express themselves? I think, I think there's a lot of shock. I mean, the first kind of reaction of many people, and I've given lectures about this in different parts of the world as well, is that they didn't know. So mm. if, if it just serves that function, that's, that's an important mm. kind of uh, part of, of, of my aim. Um, but the deeper part is for people to search in their own souls about taking 
those feelings of shock and anger and uh, astonishment at the brutality of, of, of these acts and, uh, and converting that into something which changes their own behavior and mm. which, or, or, or merely which kind of um, asserts their, their own beliefs if they're, if they're empathetic people or sympathetic people. Mm. When, when you put this together, and I know it might be a, a horrible question to ask, but through this process, what is the, maybe the one, the one piece, or the one um, art piece that you worked on that really, for you personally, mm. that stood out more than any of the other, mm. the other works in this exhibition? I think, you know, if you go to the exhibition, there's a central sculpture, a very high sculpture, which is a, it's, it's carved wood. So these are, these are very detailed pieces mm. of work. Um, and it shows both the perpetrators and, and the victims of, of, mm. of these acts. And I think that is a kind of memorial which pays tribute to the people who have died, but also asks us to think about why these things are being done. Mm. You know? I think that is the, probably, the, for me, the most, the most kind of powerful work. It, for me, I get the sense that this is an exhibition that should be traveling. It should be going through uh, various provinces into communities so that people can actually talk about it. Mm -hmm. Is that a vision for this exhibition? Well, we would certainly like that. You know, I, we, we will be approaching museums and other spaces, public spaces. This is shown now at my gallery, at a private gallery, but yeah. we're hoping that it will be be taken up by public spaces. Well, okay. That's artist, curator, designer, writer, and teacher Clive van der Berg speaking to us about his uh, latest exhibition called A Pile of Stones. The display is currently underway at the Goodman Gallery and is set to conclude on the 15th of February. There's more than enough time to go and check it out. Please go and check it out. I think it's going to start a debate with the Canadian